Uh, folks, here today what we're uh, representing is our 1964 Chevy Impala Super Sport. This is an SS car. It's the 327 four barrel. This car I purchased last year from the original owner who bought it new in 1964. Uh, this car was kept well. It's an Ohio car. It has had one repaint with the exception of the top. The top is original paint. Very nice. Shines well. All the trim on this car is super nice. All the stainless, gorgeous. Looks like it's been polished, it's so nice. The glass is nice. The original wiper arms, chrome as they were. All the trim on this car, look how nice it is. It's beautiful, there's not a ding on it, a dent on it. Original SS hubcaps. Earlier in the other video I mentioned that I took the radio, or the bias pie tires off of it that were on the car and put radials on it so it dries so nice. Um, it really made a huge difference. This car has the original chrome on the bumpers. Again, emphasizing this car's original, unrestored. It has had a repaint on the gold at one time, but it's an unrestored car uh, that's in super, super nice condition. I'll point out the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, again, look how nice the chrome bumper is on this car. Super nice chrome. Here's the ugly. There's a little mark on the hood trim here. There's a ding here in the grill. But other than that, it's nice and straight. It looks really good. The hood is straight. There's a little tiny ding here. Looks like maybe the air cleaner or something bolt hit it at one time. But this car is straight. I mean straight. The hood's as straight as an arrow. Uh, I'm gonna just keep walking around as Bob videos. Lifted the hood up. It's the original 327. I put a new battery in it, new water pump, new fuel pump, had the carb rebuilt, new plug wires, cap, rotor, coil. It still has the original air cleaner, of course. Everything's so original on this car, it's not even funny. There's the original Rochester four barrel carburetor. Um, again, nothing's been painted, changed, or anything on this car. Inner fenders, you know, good, nice condition, but it's original, not restored. Washer bottle, look how cool. Original shroud, original radiator. I like this fix. This is the guy I got it from. He didn't send anything to the garage. He did it all himself. And instead of soldering the radiator, uh, he put wire here. But it just shows you that this car has been uh, not been molested. And uh, anyways, it still has the original single full master cylinder, which stops good. This car, I did all the brakes on it. I touched base on all that on the earlier video. But it still has the original uh, drum brakes, 11 inch drums. I put new brakes on it, new shocks on it. And uh, it just drives nice. Uh, we already have video of all that. We're trying to do the walk around now. Again, the car is nice, the body lines are nice, the chrome is super good on this car. Uh, unrestored car, look how nice. Body lines are super nice, trim is nice. Again, look how nice this is. The stainless is perfect on this car. All this, look at all the knurling, all the trim, gorgeous. Door handles are even very nice. Look at all this stainless, absolutely in perfect condition. All of it is shiny and very nice. If you wanted to take this car to the next step, I would say do the body. Um, it's had some body work done down here in the quarters. Not real bad, but it has been done. And to take it to the next step, that, that should be done on this car. It, it certainly warrants it. Um, walking around again, the body, you can look at the bottom of the doors. They're super, super nice. The doors are beautiful underneath. All this is really nice. Look at the door panels, as straight as an arrow. Nice condition on the door panels. I put two new armrests on it also, because they were, well, the driver's side was tore up. So I put uh, two new arm pads on it. There's the original buckets. You can see the carpeting. It's faded, but it's original carpeting. And again, look at that beautiful dash. Steering wheel's in perfect condition. The headliner, perfect. Super nice interior in this car. Original seat belts. Look how nice the doors close. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. No sag to the doors. Walking our way around the rear bumper. All this stainless. Look how nice. It's as straight as an arrow. This car is not dinged or banged up anywhere. 
again, it does have to have body work done here. It's, the lip is solid. This is solid. Right here is where it's bad on both sides. And this door might have been worked on at one time. You can see some uh, body filler cracking here. It looks like the door was worked on a little bit, but it's straight. Gaps are nice. Everything looks good there. Car's straight. The deck lid's perfect. There's not a ding on it. All the stainless trim and PAL SS. All the lights work. Look how nice the chrome bumpers are. This car has dual exhaust on it. We'll show you the underneath of the car. We're gonna do a video under the bottom side of the car. Inside the trunk, original spare tire. It's never been on the ground. Atlas. Original jack is sitting underneath it. There's a hole right here. Not real bad, but it's there. Showing you. Look underneath here. This all looks good. Looks like there might have been a, a dent fixed on the outside here. You can see body filler coming through. But um, again, it is a 1964. This all looks nice. It had a hitch on it. I actually towed a trailer, so I put the plug on. There was no plug. I don't know why, but I put a uh, ball on here. The guy must have towed. Uh, he says he towed a sailboat with it at one time. So I put the plug on just so I could tow my motorcycle trailer around. And uh, anyways, look. Original stickers are still here. The trunk lid's nice. The light works on the trunk lid. As soon as you open it up, all the rubber fits nice. All the rubber trim's good. Not restored. It's not aftermarket stuff. It's the original. Try to emphasize that. Look how nice the chrome is. It's a really nice shape. I leave the key in the trunk just to annoy people. Um, you won't believe the people that call me to tell me my key's in my trunk. So I said, well, thank you. I know that. Anyways, again, looking down the side of this car, it's as straight as an arrow. The back glass, beautiful, clear, nice condition. All this stainless, just super, super nice. Look how good it is. Gas door, everything's good there. Uh, as I said, it, it's got the SS hubcaps on it, all new brakes, shocks. Here's some bad, some rot. Somebody stuck a floor jack under here and smashed it, but it had body filler here anyway. So this is gonna need to be worked on this corner, right in this area. This door, again, super straight, super clean underneath. If you look at the bottom of that door, take a look at that block. That is super good condition. Good bottom of those doors. Nice. Wing windows work well. Original VIN tag here. Maybe we got the one under the hood as well, taking a picture of it. Look how nice these door panels are. Really good shape. This is new. Steering wheel, perfect shape. The seats, yeah, shows wear, but it's original. Keep saying that word, original. It's important, I think. Well, we made our way the whole way around the car, Bob. The thing this car again has going for it is the fact that it's not been restored and it's um, a lot of those cars out there that people are restoring have a bunch of aftermarket parts on it and they're pieced together. This car's not. Look at the jams, how nice. All the strikers, nobody painted over the, the jams have never been repainted, but nobody's painted over all these bolts and stuff like that. That's what you have when you see cars that have been redone. Or not done correctly especially look how nice that is can't emphasize it all beautiful well anyways again you just reach in this car she starts right up just reach through the window look how nice that eye is. well Hello folks, we're going to show you the bottom of the 64 Impala. We have it up on the lift to show you the underneath of the car. Again, this is an original car, unrestored. So yeah, there's a lot of grease and oil on the bottom of the car. I replaced some of the things to make it drivable. As I mentioned before, wheel cylinders, brake shoes, tie rod end, sway control or sway bar bushing kit. Um, 
and shocks front and rear but anyways if you look a lot of oil leakage around this area you know with the power steering assist here um everything's dry around the wheels and stuff but i grease all the ball joints and all that this car drives pretty straight um it had recently had an exhaust put on and uh Again, the car, you know, there's no indication there's ever been in a crash or anything like that. All original bolts and stuff up here, bumper brackets, nothing's been taken off this car. You can see the hoses have been replaced recently. Now, again, underneath the car, you know, there's no rust or anything on the frame. It's the X frame on this car. It's got a lot of oil seepage around the oil pan, around the starter. I didn't bother doing anything underneath here. Um, yeah, again, but the frame itself is, is rock solid and straight. So over here, we have a muffler that is blown out. I didn't replace it because I figured whoever buys a car might want to put turbo mufflers on it or quiet mufflers. Uh, it's their choice. So again, it's, it, it's noisy from that. That one's not blown out, but you would want to replace them both. The exhaust is fairly, uh, the exhaust is rock solid. Uh, floorboards are solid as can be. There is an, uh, a place back here where the uh, brackets that are mounted to the uh, the floorboard brackets, I want to call them. You can see here, this one's rusted away, okay? The whole end of it's rusted. I'm touching the carpet in the car. That's the worst thing on this whole car. The rest of it, all the floorboards are solid as can be. It's both of these cross members. Uh, they're not body supports or anything. They're floorboard braces and both sides are rusted off like that. But the rest of it, all the floor pans, everything is rock solid. All this is, is, is solid. Frame is nice. Uh, the rear end, I changed the, um, well, I had the, the front seal I changed, the transmission seal, so I took the dry shaft off. Universal's tight. New shocks in the back, as I mentioned. Uh, and I cleaned up the rear end. It is a posi rear end. It even shows on the sales receipt when the guy bought it, but there's the numbers on the rear end. If you needed to see that, there it is. And here you can turn the wheels. No, you can't turn it. You have to have it neutral, I guess, but uh, they both turn, turn the same way, which means it's a posi traction. Here's a, uh, a rubber hose new line here. So that's been replaced. Uh, emergency brake works on the car. And again, working our way back, the you know, tall pipes exit straight out the rear. And as, as you can see, again, the frame rails are rock solid. And the exhaust, again, goes straight out the rear. Somebody put a trailer hitch on it, as I've mentioned before. Uh, the floor pan in the trunk is real good and solid. You can see the, uh, the again, here's the frame rails. Look how nice. Okay, the inner quarter panels, all under here. All this is solid. The inner quarter panels, if you can walk around behind me, Bob, here right here solid even the wheel wells solid all the lip solid up here in front of the wheel not solid this is again the worst on this car this had been mudded up rusty and mudded up right in this corner and somebody must have put a floor jack under it or something and tried to lift it and it's all broken but that that's the most attention this car is going to need is right there in that box. Now, switching to the other side, this one is solid. There it is. Same way with the lip, it's all solid, but there's a little bit of rust through on the outside there. But again, look at the floor pans, solid. Over here, I'm gonna turn these lights out, and turn them down so they're not blinding us. And uh, so you can see again, that here's the body mount we were talking about, or not body mount, but floor mount. See this floor mount, and they make these, uh, it rusted out right here right up in there rest it out that's the worst on this car otherwise all the rockers are solid you can see all the vent holes are actually open here they have holes like in the rocker panels for it to drain and they're there this is all solid under here but uh, this is going to need attention right here and then again on the outside if you look you can see this is what we're looking at here this is rusted out and it's gonna need attention there. But again, the lip itself, back up a little bit. Up in the wheel wells, the lip itself is all solid. Look, see this? All solid, the whole way around. All the way here, it's 
all solid. It's just right in this area here, same way on the other side. Uh, see, here's your body mounts, all good. Rubber body mount, all good. Original bumper brackets, all that, nothing's been changed on this car. So here we are. Here's the rear end from the back side, you can see it. Put the tag on it. So that's what you got, nice and dry back here. A lot of oil coming off that motor and stuff. When we're driving it, you can smell oil burning off the manifolds. You know, again, take it for what it's worth. This car, again, is a nice survivor, but yes, it, it needs a little bit of attention. Uh, I'm pointing out the bad things to you, but it's got a lot of good going for it. All right, well, again, good luck bidding. Thank you very much. Hello, today we're driving the 1964 Impala SS, taking it for a drive, show you how nice it drives. This car was a one owner until last year when I purchased it. The guy is 80 years old, showed me the sales receipt from when he bought it in 1964. Um, this car was from Ohio, wasn't driven a lot, so he got, I put about a thousand miles on it, so he got 71,000 miles on it now. But um, since I've had it, I did a lot of stuff to it to make a nice driver out of it. Uh, water pump, oil change, carb rebuild. Um, I put all new shocks around it. It has, it had bias pie tires still on it, um, which two were worn out pretty bad. So I put radial tires on it and it just drives about 100% better with those. And we're going to show you. I mean, you can drive down the road, take your hands off the wheel. This car drives so nice and straight and handles well. Um, shifts perfect. It's got the two speed power glide and it's a 327 four barrel. And it drives very nice. Everything works. The power steering. When we get back, we're going to put it on the lift and show you the underneath of the car, which is pretty nice. Um, it has the typical oil leaks and things like that. I figure the next person might want to go to the next step on this car or drive it as it is. But it just drives so nice. I've enjoyed it. I just can't keep all the cars. So it has to go. But again, this was a one owner car uh, until last year. And it was pampered. It was driven in the winters a few years, he said, but not much. And it had one repaint. The uh, roof, the hard top roof is white, never has been painted. And the outside of the car was painted in the 70s or 80s, I'm not sure. And um, there was a little bit of body work done, but not a lot. I mean, this car wasn't real bad for a um, Eastern car. And um, the interior, I wanna emphasize, it's all original. The carpet's faded, but it's not ripped up. The seats are nice, there's no rips in them. The dash, beautiful, perfect dash. I mean, there's not a crack or a mark on it. All the glass is very nice in the car, tinted windshield. The headliner, Bob can probably get a picture of that. The headliner is beautiful, all original. This is not a restored car. There's a lot of them out there that are restored with a bunch of aftermarket parts. This car doesn't have anything aftermarket. It's all original. All the stainless in here, very nice. The gate, well, the dash, the speedometer, and all that works well. The heater is warm. It works well. It's no air-conditioned car. Just crank the windows down, which they all work real nice. Wind up and down. All the stainless around the windows. When we uh, do the outside video, we're going to show you how nice all the trim and stainless is on this car. It actually looks like shiny new and um, very nice. Well, with a couple exceptions, it, it's about perfect. Uh, with all the trim on the outside. And we're on the inside now driving. You can see how nice it drives. We're going down the road 45 miles an hour on a secondary road. It just drives so nice. Horn works. Brakes work well. Again, it is just a, there's no power brakes. It's just a single master cylinder, the original. Uh, I did do all new um, brake lining. So it's got drum brakes all the way around, but it's an 11 inch drum. It stops really well. 
and straight. I actually had a little bit of a shimmy, so I checked the front end out, and everything's tight. There was one tire rod that was bad, and it was uh, causing the shimmy. I, I changed that, and I actually cut the front brake drum just because it had a little bit of pulsation when I was stopping. So um, it stops nice and straight. Very nice car. Drives so nice. It shifts perfect. There it is, just downshifted. Signals work well. All the brake lights work, tail lights work. You can see the original Ohio inspection sticker on the outside there. Somebody tooting at us. Because they probably had one or their uncle had one. Every time we drive in one of our old cars, we hear all the people talk about how their uncle had one. Their dad had one. They went on vacation with it. They, six people in the car on a vacation. <laughs> so anyways, very nice acceleration, drives strong. Look how nice, shifts perfect. Handles, like I said, one finger. You enjoying the ride, Bob? Oh, nice yeah. Nice sunny day. Yeah, it takes me back to the Bob, city. Bob's my cameraman. He's like Charlie on Charlie's Angels. You never see him. You hear him, but you'll never see him. Anyways, yeah, the visors are very nice. Take it over how nice interior is in this car. All original. I, I tell you over and over, it's true though, there's a lot of cars that have been restored with a bunch of generic aftermarket parts. It's not the same. They're only original one time, and this one drives nice. Hey, nice and straight, stops good. Downshifts by itself. That two-speed power glide was a great transmission. I changed the uh, rear seal when the transmission was leaking. I changed it. Hey, there's some grease and oil dripping around the power steering. Uh, it's got those that slave cylinder that you know that, that operates the power steering. Uh, but again, it, this car is a really nice driver. And if somebody wanted to restore the body, it wouldn't take much. It doesn't need a lot. We're going to go over that when we stop to show you the video on the outside with all the pictures. The hood has one little ding, like looks like somebody might have had the air cleaner hit it from the bottom, but straight. Sides of this car is straight as an arrow. No dings. Very nice. And again, all the moldings on the outside are just gorgeous. Body side moldings, trim, super nice, shiny. And again, I'm probably repeating myself, but all the glass looks to be all original got the SS hubcaps this nice console shift on the floor somebody put an 8 track in it it's not working wires are hanging under the dash I didn't bother with it because it's a well because I don't want to listen to the carpenters and uh, I don't know what this is maybe Bob knows he's a few years older than I what is that Bob it's a reverberator, makes it makes the bass sound a little louder. It's the latest and the greatest thing back then. So, but the AM radio works. Turn it on, everything works. I thought it did. Maybe I'm mistaken. Uh, anyways, it's an AM radio. Wipers work. Two speed wipers. Look at that. One. Well, that's high. There's low. Look how slow low is. And then the high, it's just gone so fast. Nice chrome wiper blades. Not the blades, but the arms are real nice and chrome. Original. Got the original mirrors on the sides. Door panels are so nice on this car. And the glove box. Got a nice little glove box. I actually keep it all the receipts. They're in the glove box. Um, all the receipts that I've done work to it. Mostly just all the mechanical work that I've done to it. Spent some money on it. 
took it to an expert. He did the carburetor and did the timing points. We just kept the points in it. I didn't want to change anything. Look how nice this car drives. Now, we run down the road, we're going 55. It's just as nice as can be. It's got dual exhaust. There is a hole in the one muffler. It sounds good. The hole. And we figured we just leave that hole in the muffler. Why well, buy glass backs? Anyways, here we are coming to a stop. My son talks about how I drive with two feet because I'm used to driving old cars. But uh, this car you don't need to. You can drive with one foot. You, you understand? You don't have to put your foot on the other gas pedal while you're stopping. It sits, look how nice it's sitting idling. It does have a fast idle though when you put it in, in park. Oh, nice. Acceleration's great. Steering wheel's straight. Oh, the steering wheel. Speak of that, look how nice this wheel is. It's perfect. There's not a crack on it. Nice, beautiful chrome trim ring here. Very nice. The back seat. Doesn't look like it was used too much. 